everyone and welcome back to a, a brand new special episode of my JavaScript tutorials. Now in this tutorial I'm going to be making a special Star Wars themed website. Um, because why not? And um, the new solo film is coming is out and I'm really excited. I really want to see it soon and I have to see it soon because um, I have to. <laughs> So I've just created a code pen. If you didn't watch any of the previous videos, I, rec I highly recommend you do. But if you don't know how to do it, you go over to codepen.io and you need to create an account if you don't have one. Then create new pen, and then you should be taken to the screen like this. I've just created this comment for reasons. It's just some like things we'll need to use later. You don't need to worry about all this bit. But yeah, so I'm gonna rename this um, Star Wars. Dun 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 because um you're going we're going to this should, I, I would like to have like a image called background picture so what you, so if you want to find one you just go onto your Google or your browser then type like um, I know see what's Harry Potter picture Harry Potter and then enter find a bunch of pictures of Harry Potter then I shall repeat you and then you do right click Open image in new tab, not open link in new tab, open image in new tab. And then you should be taken to like a look to here. Now if you copy the link and then um you can just just keep that copied and then I'll show you what's in it. So I'm going to take my Star Wars one. So where is it? Oh no. Okay, so open image in new tab. Copy. And there we go. I'm just looking at this picture, it's really, really cool. Okay, so now I've got the image. What we're going to do is we're going over to CSS and type body. Nope, that might be body. And then do background minus image colon and then URL brackets that and then semicolon. And then you should have this really cool sort of Star Wars-y website. And, and if you want to see it in full view, you do change view and then full page. And then this is the Star Wars Dum 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 website so far. As you can see there, Luke and Darth Vader. Pachow, pachow, pachow. And then, um, what's his name? My Boba Fett. Um, I have no idea who, that, who this person is. St random stormtrooper, Chewie, Darth Maul, um, and then ah, uh, I know who he is, but I can't remember his name. Let's some call. Let's just call him Waffle. So there's Waffle over there. Okay, so um, now we've done the background picture. We need to add some HTML and style to the website. So we need to create a H font. Or heading one and then do Star Wars Star Wars uh, Now of course at the moment you won't really be able to see it that well because you know it's black background so just to make sure it's working which I I think it might be we used to do colour colon and then white So there we go it's definitely working but now of course if you might remember in the previous video i talked about where when you enter a website you you instantly go to the middle well we're going to make it do that again so it's text minus algin go on center ciao okay this is good so far the only thing i feel like we should do is maybe change the font so um so pause the video now and um see if you can remember how you add a font in html and css 
Okay, I hope you didn't find that too hard. So what we need to do is head over to fonts.google.com and then we need to pick a font. So I might, hmm, I don't think I know what I'm gonna get rid of you. Hmm, I'm gonna spend a while picking this out then. So then you just wanna pick any random font. So I'm gonna pick concept one. Ooh, I know which one I'm gonna pick. Joie. Joie, here it is, Joie. And then press plus. Click on this. Select this. And then what you want to go and do now is go here, back to your HTML. And then at the very top of your program, you want to do control V, which is a shortcut for pasting. And of course it won't change much now, but I think you know what to do by now, so you do fonts. And it's family, colon, and the name of your font. So whatever it says here. So for me it's Jua. J U A. Or Jua. I don't know how you say it. Now it looks a bit better. For me it does anyway. And if you want to sort of impact font, because like impact. So I might get rid of the exclamation mark because if you're adding a background image, I feel like your font shouldn't be like if it's a scene like this, like where there's action happening, you don't want it to be like just a really cheerful font or something. But it doesn't really matter what you pick, whatever looks best for you. I just really like Jua, I don't know why. Jua, <laughs> Jua. So, um, there we go. Now you may notice here, this is where the sound things comes in. So I found some Star Wars sounds. So Yoda saying use the boss and Darth Vader re breathing. Uh, I'm gonna in the description below. I'll um, show you these sounds. So then you can use those in your own ones, or if you want, you can go online and find your own sounds. You have to find the URL by the way in code pen. And um, yeah, and what you also have to do. Is now, hmm. Next, <laughs> so, um, so I was thinking maybe we could do a sort of like two buttons where you can either join the lights, the dark side, or the light side, Lord! and then we could make them like one be really red and dark colors and stuff, and the other be really like, oh, beautiful. And, um, yeah, so, of course, you're going to need to hit uh, open hstmlcolorcodes.com, this as well. And now, what do I need to do now? <laughs> okay. So, nope, nope, nope. We need to add the button. Why can I not type today? And so we do button, on click, equals, and then... Just do, um, like, I don't know, Vader. So the first one's going to be the dark side, so I'm just going to call that Vader. And then whatever you put in here is what it's going to say. So I'm going to do, come to the dark side. Come to the dark side. So that's one. Oh, no, I didn't even do a huge one. What am I talking about? And then button. Come to the dark side. And now it says here, come to the dark side. Doesn't really do much right now. If you want to edit this button, you do button. Actually, do I Or it actually wait. Button. Font. Minus family colon. Jua. Mm, I don't really like that that much. But um you can do that if you want to, so every single button will look like that. But now I'm going to give this an ID of, um, dark button. Dark. Dark. And then, um, you do hashtag dark. And then in here you have to do, like, pick a background colour. For it, like, I'll mind this colour. And then black. Now it looks a bit depressing. And if you want to change the colour a bit to maybe, like, a... Um, let's go over to this and maybe do a sort of greyish blue sort of colour. Maybe, maybe. 
Yeah, that looks cool. Then if you want to see border. Oh no, we should do red. Why didn't I think of that? Border split. Yeah, this looks cute. So I've got a come to the dark side button. Also, I'm feeling like the Star Wars font isn't really that good. So, but I've got an idea to make it better. So maybe we have a red one and a blue one. So Wars is blue, so then do over here. ID ID equals um star. And then H1 oh, oh no what is Sometimes Copen does this, it's so frustrating when it does. Copen, please fix this. Oh no. Oh no, it's only a space in the city. This is a city. Nope. Okay, this is just not. Oh no. Star. Star. And then you. Balls. Oh no. Hmm, I guess we could have it a bit. I'm trying to think of how we could do this. Okay, let's just. Hmm, I think it looks a bit. Hmm. <laughs> You can do whatever you want on this, it's just I'm taking ages to say how to it. Okay, so, Star Wars. So, I'm gonna give an ID of title. ID. I hate it when it does this. I hate it. ID equals, um, title. Star Wars. And then right now it has this sort of like Ooh no 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 I've got a much better idea. A much better idea. So at the moment it's all red. But when you hover over it Yes, I mean so So you may be like, how do you make things hover over stuff? So then you do so what you need to do is hashtag title, or whatever you gave the ID to, colon hover. Now when you hover over this, I want it to see the colour, colon red. Colour blah. Now it should. Ah! Of course. This is an animation. This is not an animation. I forgot. Anyway, blue. And then the chow. Then you can make it something when you hover over it, it goes blue, 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 blue. So you can go to the light side. Or you can make it be the other way around. So at the fir at first you're on the light side. You hover over it, dark side. And then maybe when you hover over it. And that's just a little thing you may like. And then what we also want to do is create another button for the um, light side. So you can just copy this in here. You just run. Oh no! Oh no! What have I done? What have I done? Okay, that fixed it. Oh no. No, this is no. No, no, no. No. Oh dear. Is it control? Awesome. 
Okay, so fix now. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm just gonna type like um right here. Copy it because that is just the most annoying thing on earth. I have no idea why it's doing it. Okay, and then instead of on click, oh, I just realized something. Bracket, brackets. And this I need to do um like um Yoda. So I'm gonna call all my functions by the way. And then it comes to the dark side. I'm so so sad. Sad. Of the button. Of the bell. No, I forgot. Come to the light side of the. Come to the light side. Oh wow. <laughs> Um, what is it doing? Oh, maybe I need to do light. Okay, I'm just gonna copy this, and then so having the background color of black. Well, you can do that, but yeah, definitely. refresh my page okay no aha button yeah okay so our page looks quite good so far just a few technical difficulties just like the spell button mwah, mwah. anyway so I'm just gonna get rid of CSS now, ID light dark. Okay, cool. now I need to have a beta function. Beta function. Beta. The Yoda function. Function. Yoda. Yoda. Oh, I forgot something. Again. <laughs> so I need to have an audio. So you may remember from our very first JavaScript where we added audio. And we're going to do the same for this one. We're going to use the beta breathing and Yoda. Audio ID equals um, Yoda. Yoda noise. And then source equals and then just copy the Yoda. And then I need to close it. Slash audio. Awesome. And just to make sure everything's working, I'm going to do it with just Yoda first. And then if you think you know how to do it after I've showed you how to do Yoda, try you can try and do it for Darth Vader. So I'm gonna do var, I'm gonna just call this um Yoda talking equals and then document dot get element by ID. And then whatever you gave the audio, the ID, uh, wherever you made the ID be, I called mine Yoda noise, beautiful name, and then beautiful sound, and then I'm going to do Yoda talking, play, and Yoda talking is just the name of this variable I gave it, so now it says this. Use the force. Yes. <laughs> okay, that's cool. So um, now pause the video again and try and figure out how to do Darth Vader. Don't worry if you can't do it, just don't pause it. Okay, so hope you hope, hope you were fine with that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this Vader breathing thing over here, do audio, ID equals Vader noise. And by the way, um, if, if you've got a bug in your code or you're not sure how to figure something out, just go, if you look in the description of the video, I'm going to link to um, this code pen I'm working on right now and all the sounds so you won't have to be on a wild goose chase them. And then I need to do the 
data talking equals document dot get element by I by ID and then what do I call it? Beta noise beta noise then I think I need to do beta talking dot play let's check this out So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, um, if you do, did, please leave a like, and if you'd like to see more like this, please subscribe, and leave a comment down below of what you'd like to see next time. Bye!